Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS. And salutations to all you Akimite that pushing this word in sincerity and truth. Coming back at you with another lesson. This is going to be about um, homosexuals and lesbians, gays and lesbians, whatever you want to call these people. Um, basically, these people are devil worshippers, man. You know what I'm saying? And it is a, an agenda, you know what I'm saying, of the new world order to be a homosexual and a, and a lesbian. Because that's a part of them bringing everybody together as one. You know what I'm saying? This is an article that I'm reading. It's called uh, Luciferian Sexual Agenda. Okay, and uh, I'm going to read some of this article. I'm not going to read all of it, but I'm going to read some, some of it. And it says, Luciferian Sexual Agenda refers to the plan that is in motion by the Catholic Church, okay, to brainwash the public into accepting inhumanely immoral sexual practices. Okay, it is a three-stage operation that will progress because it hides behind a smokescreen that it is supporting human rights. Okay, so these damn devils in the Catholic Church and the U.S. government, the Congress, and all these famous people in Hollywood and uh, celebrities and everything, they all behind this, um, this um, gay and lesbian, LGBT, however you say it, um, agenda thing to, to be like, it's human rights, you know, you can't say that against gay people. Um, you can't say nothing against lesbians and all this type of stuff. But what did the scripture say about um, gays and lesbians? You know what I'm saying? The city of Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed. When you read Genesis 18, 20 through 33, and Genesis 19, 15 through 29, it breaks down the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, was a, which was a city full of um, gay people, gay men and uh, homosexuals and stuff. And who knows what those type of perverse, uh, per, perverse spirits that were out there. But America is a thousand times worse than um, Sodom and Gomorrah now because you got men getting sex changes. You got um, women getting sex changes, wanting to be men and all type of just crazy stuff, man. Uh, you know, people having sex with animals. You know, that was going on back then, bestiality. But it's a thousand times worse now. And so I'm going to read a little bit more of this article. It says, um, on Luciferian Sexual Agenda Part 1, Homosexuality. The first part of the... LSA is to implement homosexuality on the public. Homosexuality is the important is important because with it, Luciferian interests can transist rather transition to the second step. Without homosexuality, they would be unable to. Okay, the sexual desires of human beings can at times cause them to think or feel sexually about those of the same sex as them. Okay. However, those pushing the homosexual part of this agenda will say that if you have homosexual impulses, then it means that you you are attempting to suppress or hide your true nature, which is homosexuality. So they're trying to say that if you speak against homosexuals, that you yourself is a homosexual. But that's not true. You know what I'm saying? Because the Bible condemns uh, homosexuals and lesbians. Okay. Uh, moving on, it says. Because homosexuality is a social decision that is made by an individual for personal reasons. It is easy to assess that this promoted view is inaccurate. Okay? And that's true. In an attempt to confront and deal with the problem facing the agenda, a view has been promoted with pseudoscience that attempts to indicate that homosexuals were born that way or born this way. Okay? And that's not true, man. That's a damn demon that's on people man to uh, come out um talking effeminate or um acting like a woman man that's a goddamn demon man okay illuminati vocalist lady gaga was even made to perform a song written by jesuits that promotes the idea that homosexual is hereditary with the song born this way okay despite heavy misconception and well done international disinformation campaigns there is no gene that points to homosexuality, a fact that will generally send supporters of homosexuality, homosexuality into a rage, okay? And that's what these devils trying to promote, you know what I'm saying? This, this is their plan. So the Luciferian sexual agenda, part one, is on homosexuality. And part two is incest, you know what I'm saying? And incest is like um, family members screwing around with each other, you know, brothers and sisters, cousins, and all that type of stuff because this is the type of mess that was going on in the Greco-Roman Empire. You know what I'm saying? They were freaks. And that same uh, perverted spirit, spirit is back over here in America because America is the 
um, number one country in the world, and they're pushing this agenda, gay and lesbian agenda, on the whole goddamn world. So this is a wicked place, man. Okay, and uh, part three is pedophilia, which is um, grown men trying to mess around with little kids or uh, grown women messing around with little, little kids. You know what I'm saying? Um, little kids as young as like two years old and stuff. You know, you got a grown man trying to penetrate them. You know, that's the, that's the act of a demon, man. All right, so these people are freaks. they devils. And if you're a homosexual or a lesbian, you worship the devil, man. Okay, you've given in. You're part of the Greco-Roman Empire. You're part of this Babylonian system. And your ass gonna be put to death, man, basically. And I'm gonna read um what the scriptures speak against homosexuals and lesbians, man. Okay. This um Leviticus 18 and 22. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination. Okay, so this damn article is, is some of this article is telling damn lies, and then at some points it's telling the truth. Cause there ain't no such thing as being born gay. That's a damn lie, man. Them, them just demons that you got on you, okay? And the scripture clearly says you can't lay with a man as you lie with a woman. It's, a, it's an abomination. The most high not dealing with that, man. Okay? The most high not dealing with um, gays nor lesbians, man. None of them. He's going to put all of them to death, man. That's why it's all type of diseases out here to, to take these people out, man. Okay? And that's a sign that the most high hate, hate them people, man. Okay? This uh, Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman... Both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Okay? So a man lay with a man, is you're going to be put to death by the Most High, man. Either by a deadly disease or just the Most High. Uh, when the time comes, he's going to destroy you in a violent way or some type of... Um, as many ways the Most High can deal with you, um, gays and lesbians. You know what I'm saying? And they pushing that agenda a lot on um, so-called Latinos, Native Americans, and Negroes. Okay, and you can see these rappers of today's society, they wear dresses, um, you know, lipstick and all that, whatever they do, you know, they, they're highly effeminate nowadays. The entertainment business um, promotes this type of stuff, man. And um, like I say, it's part of the um, New World Order. It's part of the, um, it's, it's a demonic thing to be involved in, you know what I'm saying? And people that do these things have demons on them, you know what I'm saying? And the Most High is going to destroy them. Okay, and this is a part of the um, the agenda of these elites out here to turn people, to make people accept gays and lesbians, man. Because if you be like, if um, well, I don't have nothing against gays and lesbians as long as it ain't around me, then you're a part of it, man. You're, you, you're saying there ain't nothing wrong with it. Well, we say if you're a gay or lesbian, your ass should be put to death, man. Bottom line, period. If you don't repent. Okay, this... um. 1 Corinthians 6 and um, 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh? Be not deceived, nor fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Okay, abusers of themselves with mankind. That means homosexuals, man, lesbians. You know, these acts they do, men's doing it to each other in the butt and uh, sucking each other off and all that type of stuff, man. And women are uh, licking each other vaginas and um, titties and all that, you know. That's a part of the um, New World Order, you know what I'm saying, to, to push this filth, this sickness, man. And that's the highest form of devil worship that people can do is um, participate in homosexuality and, and um, bestiality and, and um, was that child molesting, um, you know, raping little kids and stuff, man. That's the highest form of um, Satanism they do. That's why them priests, them Catholic priests, if you notice that, um, they 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 rape little children, man, because they believe that it gives them magical powers or whatever. You know that's why they're doing this stuff, man, because they devil worshippers, man. Okay, and all you gays and lesbians, you're gonna be put to death. You're gonna be destroyed, and the Most High is gonna take America out because America promotes homosexuals and les lesbians, and America is nothing more of a mystery Babylon, the Roman Empire, Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt. And all the ancient empires stirred in a big gumbo pot full of filth and abominations, man. Okay? So with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS. And salutations to all you occupants that pushing this word in sincerity and truth. Shalom.